One of the most valuable lessons any outdoor explorer can learn is that not everything in nature is intended for safe human consumption. But many plants, vegetation, and wildlife could be your next meal. Some Iowans are exploring these newfound culinary adventures. <laughs> Kathy Dice is passionate about plants, specifically wild edibles, the plants and weeds that you may discover springing up in your backyard, around your garden, or along a nature trail. So this is one of the funnest ones. This is wood sorrel. It grows in everyone's garden. This is in fact considered a noxious weed in Iowa. You can just pick some of it and start eating it as you go along. Mm. It is such a fun plant. I've always been interested in being outside and eating the plants that you find growing wild is a really cool way to interact with nature because it's a really intimate thing when you're actually eating little bits of nature. Kathy took us on a tour around her home in rural Louisa County, Red Fern Farm. And within a short walk from her front door, she showed us numerous wild plants growing in the yard that we can eat. So this is plantain. This is another really good one to learn. It grows in people's yards. In fact, we've got some right down here, some little tender ones growing. In fact, people will be like, oh, I've got that all over my yard. And it's like, well, yeah. And this, I like to tell people, is food, fun, and medicine. Violets also commonly grow in yards. Blue and white violets are the most common and tasty. Violets are loaded with vitamins, iron, and calcium, so they're good for you too. If you eat about five violet leaves of this size, you're gonna get as much vitamin C as if you eat a full big orange from Hy-Vee. Very, very nutritious and very, very mild tasting. It tastes like lettuce. It's hard to find a fresher, more natural, unmodified food than picking a wild plant yourself. And harvesting wild edibles is free or low cost food. And for people who don't garden, this is a way that you can actually get the benefits of gardening with going out and collecting all this fresh fruit. To me, it's always a sad thing how many people don't know all the cool things growing around them. The lore about all these scary, itchy, terrible plants that are out there, people learn really quick. But so many other people won't learn the really fun things or all the really cool things they could be eating in their garden. And that's really pitiful. It's very important to know what you're eating and be sure nobody has sprayed any chemicals like Roundup on the plants. Don't go and experiment with, this plant kind of looks right, maybe I'll start nibbling on it. Not a good idea. It's always, you always want to identify things really, really well before you start putting them in your mouth. The American persimmon commonly grows in Missouri and Arkansas, but you'll find wild persimmon in Iowa, south of Highway 30. As the persimmons ripen in the fall, they turn from green to bright orange. They're deliciously sweet, almost like candy. It's amazing, the, the bouquet of flavors. Um, some things will taste like apple skins or sunflower seeds. Other things will taste like green beans. Some things will taste like um, a really ripe green pepper. So it, it, it's really neat in the plant world. It is a huge variety of flavors. A common weed you might see in your garden is purslane. It's a succulent, recognizable by its thick red stems and fleshy green leaves. This is maybe my favorite wild edible plant. This is lamb's quarter. And again, another plant that's on the noxious weed list of Iowa. But this is a plant that has actually been feeding people in Iowa for thousands of years. Lamb's quarter is another very nutritious wild edible, maybe second only to violets. You can eat lamb's quarter raw, and the flavor is a little bit like green beans, but I always think of it as lamb's quarter. It's a very delicious plant. <laughs> it's so good. The juice from touch me not or jewelweed can act as a painkiller or help protect against poison ivy, but it's also a wild edible. Red buds are an awesome treat. You can enjoy those beautiful pink blossoms in the spring. You can eat the pink blossoms in the spring, and you can even enjoy eating those little seed pods later on. And it's a native Iowa tree. I really like red buds. They're a great little tree. As the seasons go by, 
different wild edibles will be available to eat. The peak time to eat certain plants and weeds may be a short time, as little as two weeks. Plants will vary greatly in their flavor. The same kind of plant in the same county will vary greatly in the flavor. It's like with apples. So if you try a plant and you don't like how it tastes, don't give up on it, try a different plant and even go to a different area and try a different county to try a different plant. Kathy also has elderberry on her farm, a delicious mild berry, hazelnut shrubs, chestnuts with spiny protective burrs, and pawpaw trees, a fruit tree native to Iowa that grows wild all across the state. They're sometimes called the prairie banana or Iowa banana. We consider it the largest native fruit that you're gonna find growing in Iowa. It's also the only fruit in Iowa that is in the tropical families. And when you get a ripe pawpaw and open it up, the overall flavor will be like banana. But our favorite ones have overtones of pineapple and mango in them as well. Common milkweed is something monarch caterpillars love to feed on. But guess what? You can eat it too. When you find a nice, clean little leaf like this, you can pick it and go ahead and just start eating on it. And the tender little ones are actually a little sweet. You can eat the young sprouts of milkweed when it first comes out. You can eat the tender young leaves up at the top, top at any time. You can eat the little seed pods before the seeds inside turn brown. You can even eat the flower blossoms when they're tight and green or when they're almost turning purple. They're really sweet. Those, they're like eating broccoli. Foraging for wild edibles can be a one-time adventure, a fun hobby, or a way of life. There's a cornucopia of tasty treats and healthy vegetation all around you in the Iowa outdoors. <laughs>